Hey guys, what's up? Happy Monday. Um, it's Mondays with Madi, and we are at Cyber Monday, so that's fun. How many of you are shopping online today? Um, if you are, don't forget to support your small businesses. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Madi, and I am the founder of Still Prepping 24-7. You can follow me on all social media realms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, what else do I have? Snapchat, at Still Preppin, Still, P-R-E-P-N, the letter N, 247. And also, um, you can actually subscribe to my YouTube channel. So every Monday, we start off with a product of the week. And I've done this product of the week so many times, but... It's just such a great product that it's really important that we do it again. And I am going to be religious about this product this week. I have a wedding that I'm in this Saturday. Congrats to Marcus and Amber. So excited about that. So my husband and I are really focused on what we're going to do today with this. So we are going to be very precautious with our Prolessa Duo. Okay, so Prolessa Duo is actually a fat burner. It's also a hunger suppressant. So if you are currently on Herbalife Nutrition and you're still finding yourself a little hungry, reason number one, you're probably not drinking enough water. Two, you're not in, actually taking in enough protein. And three, you might need the help of Prolessa Duo. It's one scoop per day and you can mix it into your shake after you blend it. I drink it straight. So I just do two ounces of water, shake it up really good, take a quick shot, boom. Um, so what this does is it actually burns body fat, okay? So some of you have some stubborn fat like around your midsection and you're finding that you're having some trouble getting rid of it. So what I would recommend is actually using Prolessa Duo and I want to show you guys what Prolessa Duo can do. Um, so this is actually a picture of when I was using Prolessa Duo last January so you can see on the January 8th photo, I had a little bit of pudge. Um, though I had lost a lot of weight, I was still holding on to some fat. I decided to clean up my diet. I add a Prolessa Duo, and those are the results that I was able to get. Also, I had lost a lot of weight, but I wanted to bulk up a little bit and add some lean muscle, but I wanted to lean out. And this is what I was able to do with Prolessa Duo. So the results are amazing. And it's an amazing product. I would highly recommend it for anyone who wants to lean out. If you have a couple inches you want to lose around your midsection this winter, um, going into the new year, this is definitely the product. You just want to make sure you have some measuring tape so that you can be aware of how your body is changing at, during the course. I would absolutely recommend at least two weeks on this product. I do 30 days at a time. I don't do anything less. I like to get a full month result. So that is the product of the week spotlight and um, make sure that you're paying attention to how we evolve as we are using it this week. So today's topic is exposing your light. I watched the most incredible video last um, week and it was Jim Carrey and Jim Carrey you wouldn't think is serious and he's you know not necessarily inspiring and motivational. He is. He's absolutely amazing. And he did um, a speech, and I don't actually know the university he spoke at. I didn't see where that was listed, but I wanted to share a couple of things from that video that I learned and how I'm applying it to my own life. So he talked about how about failure, and I look at my notes, by the way, guys. This is that's how amazing this video was. He talked about failure, and he says that you can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance at what you love. And I it made me think about. How many people are stuck in jobs that they absolutely hate because they're so afraid of failing? They're so afraid of just getting out there, risking it, walking on the water and just being saved by what they love, right? So people lose their jobs at things they barely even like. You know, you can work at a job for 25 years, think that the company is loyal to you, and they'll let you go like that because you are not valuable to every company, period. And... If that's the case, right, you might as well go for something you love. So this is like a sore spot for me because I love running my own business. I love working with my teammates and I haven't like just jumped ship. I haven't just put myself into the business full time. So it really struck a chord with me like, okay, people lose jobs they barely even like. And it's not that I don't like teaching full time. That's what I do full time, guys. I love teaching. 
I love working with my students, okay? But I know that I'm meant to teach thousands of people. I know that I'm meant to rescue people. I know that this is the mission that God's given me. So it's not what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And I've realized that. So when am I going to just jump ship and go for what I love? So stay tuned because I haven't gotten the answer to that yet. Um, he talked about joining a church and not a religious church. He talks about joining the church FFC, which is freedom from concern. I thought that was really special. How many of us are every day struggling in jobs or every day struggling in life where we're just concerned and it's because we're trapped by a gift that we have locked inside that we're not sharing with others. And he said, if you don't know what, you know, how to express your gift, look around in the world and see what's missing. What can you provide to create that? He said, that's the currency that we should be donating to this country. You know, we're always talking about money, but what about the currency of your gifts? What are you providing for other people? Okay, what are you allowing people to buy from you that will, you know, donate more to the world than just financial gains? And he talks about, um, you know, how he just wanted to make people laugh. He realized that was a gift he had. People were happy when they were around him. So he tapped into that gift and into that talent. And now look what he's become. He's Jim Carrey. He's one of the most famous names in comedy in the world. He's an actor who makes millions of dollars because he just wanted to make people feel good about around him. So maybe your gift is just wanting to make people feel better. Maybe your gift has to do with, um, you know, comfort. Or maybe your gift has to do with teaching. Or maybe your gift has to do with using your hands. Find out what's missing around you and just tap into that. And he talks about how a lot of us don't tap into that because we have a need for acceptance. And he said, your need for acceptance can make you invisible in the world. Wow. So just because you want to be accepted by others, you actually become more invisible than risk being seen in your glory. So I challenge everybody to think about where they're needed and risk being seen. It's okay to be great. I tend to really shy away from that in my own life. Like, you know, I, I, I'm always afraid that people are going to think I'm a bragger, that people are going to assume that I do things for my own shine, that people think I just want the spotlight. So I tend to like try to hide from it. It's okay to be great. It's okay to shine if you're in your glory because people are attracted to that light and you attracting light to you and then reflecting that light is an okay thing. Don't be afraid to stand in your glory for other people. That's okay. Um, and he said, you are not the avatar of what you create in your mind. Wow. What is the avatar that you're creating? Like I created the avatar that people are going to assume I'm like not a humble person, that I brag and that I'm arrogant. That's not who I am. I know that that's not who I am. So I'm always making conscious decisions of avoiding what I really am to please other people. Yeah, that stops. I turned 35. A lot of things are about to stop. Um, and, he, you know, I just want to end with this. He says, don't feel the world. Be felt by the world. So it's Monday. Okay, so here's where I challenge you. I challenge you to be felt by the world. I challenge you to challenge your own avatar in your mind and recreate yourself so that you are a light that shines in glory and people are attracted to that. So I wish you a happy Monday. I wish you a fulfilling week. I thank you so much for watching and um, I hope that you're powerful and you're great. Have a great week.